Hey guys, and welcome to Quality Shot. First of all, thanks for tuning in. Please remember to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. Right, let's get straight into this. So firstly, I know it's been a bit of time since I've done uh, one of these videos um, for you guys, the tennis fans. We've done quite a few tennis live streams, of course, but there hasn't really been too much going on, of course, with the ATP Tour Finals and WTA Tour Finals concluding. We will be doing our Quality Shot Tennis Awards for 2021 it won't just be myself it'll be two other guys from different channels and probably venue as well i think um so four of us hashing it out for lots of different categories like best player of the year upset of the year match of the year blah blah, blah etc all that great stuff you know what's going to happen it's going to be great uh, so do keep an eye out for that we'll probably release that at some point next week so we will be filming next friday or the friday coming up so it'll be hopefully that that weekend uh, is the idea. Right, let's get into this. So Andy Murray has split from his coach, long-term coach, Jamie Delgado. Of course, Jamie Delgado was not his primary coach, but he's been part of the coaching team for quite a long time. Um, as in, sorry, he wasn't his primary coach for his whole career, but he's been part of his team for a very long time. Uh, however, he was brought into the team during the 2016 season, which of course was that great season he had where he won a second Wimbledon title and finished the year as well. Number one, he made multiple finals that year as well. I'm pretty sure he made the French Open final, which he lost to Djokovic. Was that 20? No, that was 2015. Uh, but either way, anyways, won his second Wimbledon title and then finished the year as number one. Um, Delgado actually took over full-time in 2017, late 2017, after Mari stopped working with the great Ivan Lendl. Uh, however, so they parted ways. That means that Jan de Witt, who has previously coached Gerd Monfils, Gilles Simon, and Nicolas Basilic Vili, will be taking on the role. Interesting, um, because if you look at those players, they all play relatively differently. Gelmon Fies is relatively attacking nowadays anyway, uh, but very high energy was, I guess, you can say a, quite, not defensive, but grind, grinded away, um, as is your Simon counterpuncher player. Nicholas Bissetich is the complete opposite. He is all out of firepower, so... I'm hoping and expecting that whoever he goes with, I know it's a trial period with the German Jan de Witt. Whoever he goes with, I just hope he finds someone who is able to give him a balance in the sense that they are able to still hone and keep the best qualities he's had for, the, for his whole career, but also revolutionize his game into a more attacking type of style, which I you can see he has been trying to do recently. Um, so I'm just hoping that there's that successful evolution in his game. But yeah, three-time champion Murray has actually also been re recently working with Esteban Carril, who was Johanna Conta's former coach, who's obviously retired now, Johanna Conta. Uh, but, but he won't be joining Murray in the 2022 season. So it looks like Murray's been having a couple of trials and DeWitt is his next port of call. He'll be working with Murray um, at the National Tennis Centre in Roehampton. Uh, which is where we see, of course, Andy Murray, Murad Akanu, all the top, top players in the UK. And he'll also be going with him to the uh, Mubadala World Tennis Championships in Abu Dhabi, which is an exhibition event, which is which will be interesting and will also feature Radicanu. I think Nadal and team are both playing in that as well. We will potentially do some live streams on it if it is, one, televised, and two, uh, if I am able to. But... I'd like to because, of course, you know, Nadal's back, team's back. It'd be interesting to see uh, how those guys get on. Of course, it's exhibition, so it's not going to be extremely, um, you know, it's not going to be extremely serious, but it will be serious enough that it will be a good run out for these guys. Murray's actually, which is interesting, is, is currently ranked 134th. He, he's had some very, very good uh, match matches and good wins. Uh, so I think he's more likely playing top 50 level, but he needs to win uh, some tournaments and, and beat some well-ranked guys to to get that rank it up. Uh, Delgado is actually going to be moving as well to coach Shapovalov, so the number 14 Canadian 
young star, which will be interesting because Shapovalov is a very talented player. And Jamie Nogado, if he can do even a little bit of what he did with Andy Murray with Dennis Shapovalov, then it'll take him a long way. So some people moving around, coaching, players, all sorts, as you'd expect in tennis. You don't have people staying with uh, coaches for huge amounts of period um, nowadays anyway. And it's it's fair enough because sometimes you just need a change. I know Iga Svintex broke uh, split up with her long term coach, so she'll be looking for a new coach. Obviously, Emma Raducanu has gone through a couple as well now already. So we'll see how these different changes help. But you need a bit of stability as well. So you know, staying with someone for a year or two years at, at the least, you would imagine. Uh, but let's see how. Andy Murray goes with this new trial and then who he ends up eventually going with. Does he Will he go with DeWitt or will he go with someone else? Who knows? Anyways, thank you very much, guys, for tuning in. Please remember to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you don't mind. Read us helps out a great deal. As I said, we will be doing our Quarter Shot 2021 awards. It will be a blast. Do make sure you get involved. Check it out. Keep your eyes peeled. It will be uploaded, as I said, in the next week or so. And I'm very, very excited to do it. Thank you very much, guys. Stay safe and I'll see you on the next video.